I think everybody kind of um, sees what, you know, each person in the family's job is in the family. You know, it's like, I don't think the kids have ever, you know, they've never seen dad work. They don't know what he does when he goes to the office and how right. long he works and, you know, and, you know, they don't see what I do all day long when they're at school, like the laundry, you know, things that need to get done. Um, so I think we all kind of, you know, appreciate it. started to appreciate each other a little bit more and, you know, in mm -hmm. their school work, even, you know, it's, I mean, I, you know, a fourth and fifth grader, you'd think the math is easy, but <laughs> you know, they have those new ways of doing things, you know, I'm like, you know, you, know, you just divide. They're like, that's not how you do it, mom. I'm like, <laughs> oh, that's how we did it growing up. I don't know how to do it your way. Um, so, you know, we kind of, I mean, I appreciate what they do at school every day. Um, I appreciate teachers and I was a teacher and I'm not a good homeschool teacher. So just to put that out there. So I give all <laughs> the homeschool moms that are like rocking it a lot of credit. And I was a classroom teacher. I taught art for 20, 15 or so years. And uh, yeah, I, I struggle with my own children. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, you're not alone. You are not alone. Um, you know, even though this isn't the season that I am in, I receive a lot of text messages and phone calls uh, from other moms who are struggling and, and who wouldn't struggle. You know, I mean, everybody's just been thrown into this. It's been a major um, curveball. I mean, even for families who homeschool, there was still all the other activities that you did, you know, with your children. And now it's like everybody is in this collective lockdown, right? And of course it varies from state to state, but um, you, you're not alone um, in your struggles and, you know, it can, you can have, you know, horrible days where you just, you know, may feel like you can't get anything right. And then you can have other days where things are kind of vibe and things are kind of going, you know, somewhat smooth and it could even be to your amazement. Right. But <laughs> overall, collectively, you know, you're, you are not alone, Shelby, you are not alone in your frustrations and uh, in, yeah. in your struggles. If, you know, one of the worries that I have through all this is, mm -hmm. um, I mean, I'm sure every parent um, is worried that their child is going to be behind, right? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I hear a lot of that. Know, mm -hmm. Especially I mean, my husband, especially, is just, I mean, he, you know, he, that's his big worry. And, and I mean, I worry about it too, but that's, you know, so he's always, you know, when the kids are done with their work, you need to give them more work. They need to go above and beyond what they're given so that they don't get behind. And, um, you know, I, I was, you know, I put a lot of pressure on myself trying to add in the extra academics and, you know, you know, and then having to argue with them to do it because of course mom told me to do it. I'm not going to do it if mom told right. me to do it. Right. Um, but then I actually had to sit back and kind of think, you know, it's obviously my kids, we're not the only ones that are in this situation. Um, mm -hmm. But then you also have to think about, you know, their mental state, you know, I mean, as frustrated as we are, they are too. And, right. um, you know, did it just pile on all the extra work that we think they're going to need may do mm -hmm. more harm than good. Right. Um, so I've had to kind of pull back on putting that pressure on them, especially at nine and 10 years old, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so that's been kind of something that we've been struggling at with here as far as, you know, where my husband thinks they should be, you know, what we should be doing right. for education versus what I think. And so right. uh, I don't know if that's just yeah. near everyone, but <laughs> Yeah, no, that's a that's a huge resounding collective yes. Um, and of course, you know, we know that there are a lot of children who are uh, falling uh, behind across the country because uh, their situation is a little bit different. Maybe they have a single parent oh. or, you know, they're being reared by um, uh, grandparents or, or a loved one and, and maybe they are an essential worker and they have to work outside of the home. So we have children all across America who are home alone you know, in this time and, you know, um, is the self-discipline there, you know, who knows, um, how well are they with those, with those computers? And if there were to be a glitch, are they able to, to fix it? Or, you know, do they really need that adult supervision in, in all of those areas? So we have kids that are, but I, I get that, you know, I get that Brandon, you know, is concerned yeah. that they would fall behind, you know, and I, I think a lot of 
a lot of parents are are right there with you. Uh, Amina, how about in your household with the girls? Do you you guys feel like you're keeping up with you know at the right pace where they should be age appropriate? So you know, first of all, I really just feel for moms who had to enter this new age of trying to teach your kids at home mm-hmm. when um, they're already working or they have so many other things they're juggling. And um, I've, I've had to learn how to school my kids through trial and error. And mm-hmm. so, um, and each stage is different. I think my kids are getting a little older now and they're, um, they're a little bit more self-motivated, but it didn't, it didn't happen overnight. Mm-hmm. And um I definitely think one of the best tips, I, I it's a very small thing, but one of the best um, words of advice I got from another homeschooling mom was um, set weekly goals, not daily goals, but weekly goals. And mm-hmm. oftentimes like you have those bad days where your kids are just not there. They're not really, you know, they're sad right. or upset or just not motivated to do their work. And that might mean you do a reading day. Um, I do a lot of reading with my kids. We do like morning basket where I fill it with a bunch of books and we just sit on the couch with a blankie and read, we read the Bible, we read poetry, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, history together. And um, I I really treasure that time. Sometimes I fall asleep. (laughs) But um, but my kids will wake me up and sometimes they'll take over reading as well. And it's just a great, uh, a great memory to have, even if we're not doing all the textbook stuff, like their math workbook or um, their mm-hmm. science stuff, but on those good days, we take advantage of it and we take advantage and we push through. Um, and so at the end of the week, we kind of look back and say, okay, this is what we've accomplished. Did we set, mm-hmm. you know, did we meet our goals? And if not, sometimes we'll, we will do a couple of things on Saturday and Sunday. So it's very fluid for us over here. And I've learned to just let it go. Mm-hmm. Um, especially when, when, you know, for example, if someone's struggling in a math homework assignment, um, I don't, I, I've learned that you can't like, with my first child, my poor first child, she's had to deal with me learning how to teach her. Um, but I've learned to really give her grace and give myself grace and to be patient um, mm-hmm. and not to get so easily frustrated. And sometimes it means let it go and put it aside and do something else and try something different. You know, we've tried different curriculums. We've traded our book, that new book, and tried something different to help um, learn a new concept. And, mm-hmm. um, and I guess the biggest thing is flexibility is like, you got to be flexible. Um, so you have in your mind, um, especially when you are used to, I was public, I was schooled in a public school. And so I have this idea, you sit down, you do one subject after another, and that's how you do it. And that's right. life. But um, homeschool opened up a new, a whole new world for me, just in terms mm-hmm. of being open to um, new ways of learning and um, new ways of setting a schedule. So for example, you could do subject days where you have Monday being math day, Tuesday being science day, Wednesday being writing day. Thursday art day. And sometimes that helps because then you can say, okay, we're just going to keep doing all the fun activities we can think of with this math assignment and sure. create that whole day around that. Mm-hmm. Um, but, um, but yeah, I mean, we do testing. And so um, I think that's kind of way we assess how our kids are doing. Um, most of our curriculum is we are, we're looking at the test and um, we do statewide standardized testing at the end of the year. And so we kind of get a, a sense of like, okay, where are kids measuring up? with the rest of, you know, kids their age. Um, and I'm, I'm honestly not very worried um, based on those tests, but I can see where um, when parents are, when I was working, when I was working part-time and trying to manage homeschool, it was crazy. <laughs> and I'm sure my kids were not learning what they should have been learning. So mm-hmm. I, I really, I just give props to those parents who are trying to work and school their kids, take care of yeah. the home, and whatever else COVID is bringing it to us, and you know, mm-hmm. mental health issues, um, financial mm-hmm. issues, all of those combined, um, all those stresses combined, I really just, I know it's a hard time for many people. And I know for me, I've been trying to, anybody who's new to homeschooling or just staying home, I try to give them some advice on what things they can try to do to break up their day. We do art therapy a lot. Mm-hmm. Our whole kitchen is full of like canvases of like art. We have llamas, we have uh, the sky, we have flowers, just pictures of everything. So we do a lot of art there <laughs> and music therapy, like just listening to music, dance party. My kids, we have this huge speaker and we just turn it on every night and they jam to it, like mm-hmm. things like that to break up um, this, this kind of hard time for, for kids too. So. Yeah, yeah, sure. Those are, that's great advice. Um, 